It's a bit ironical, ain't it? I was chasing us off when we was afraid of scaring her off. Aye, <laughs> oh, lad. It's another witch for us to worry about. Although, suppose this witch was the good sort. The, the good sort, you say? Just like last time. Like last time? <gasps> Don't he? It's your turn to have a memory! <laughs> yes, I can feel it bubbling up inside me. There was a, another witch, the good sort, as you say. She made us promise that we would remain here, waiting, but said we'd come back one day. To the living, don't it? I got it now. And we wish to remain here uh, in the name, go back to living, oh, and her name was Mrs. 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 Night something. Nightly, yes, nightly. Oh, she was a good witch. And this must be her daughter. Ooh, I knew her magic felt familiar. Not at all that spooky sort. Oh, and Holly, we, we could pit them against each other. What, the good witch and the mum? No, 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 no. The, the mum's been gone for ages, but the new witch and the evil witch. The one who locked us in the fireplace. Oh, we set them at odds with one another. Then, then we come back to life and we save the day. Exactly, Ollie, and brilliant. Don't you, you know what it is? It's a clever ooze. A what? A clever ooze. Someone's over here pretending to do one thing, but really, they're over here doing another thing. Oh, it's a clever ruse, Ollie. Oh, don't you, do you suppose it's what it is? Oh, to be living again. I could have a real pot of stew. Oh, and fresh baked bread with warm cakes of butter. Melting on top. Oh, and to say nothing mm. of a new garden with legumes and squashes mm. and... Oh, that would be the day. Not to mention see the rest of the family again. Oh, yes, the family. I'd almost forgotten about them. I haven't seen any of them since... Since the witch took over. Or oh, the bad one, mind you. And then... Oh, little Natty ran off to the city! Yes, oh, Nathaniel. I wonder where he's up to nowadays. We'll have to pay him a visit once we're mortal again. <gasps> oh, we could take him a nice ribeye, I should think. Ah, oh, and a pile of turnip greens. Mm. Oh, don't he! To be <laughs> your mortal again! <laughs> <laughs> When Nathaniel and Clarice were lost. No. No, all is never lost. Someone's been here. I can feel it. A disturbance in the air. Before I walk, so familiar is this Could it be? Somehow it feels like I'm not so 
Sorry I went into that house. It's all right, darling. You, you couldn't have known. That you're a witch? Beg pardon? I've had my suspicions for quite some time. Is that so? Please don't take this the wrong way, dear, but I always suspected your mother of being a witch. Oh, my mother? <laughs> you have some nerve. Oh! oh. oh. She was a very good witch, mind you, as are you. 
Not a wart to be seen. And I'm sure all of my familiars were speaking well of me. Oh, glowing reviews from all. Your familiars are very fond of you. <laughs> You've done your checking up on me. Uh, observations, my dear. Simple observations. A mended teacup here. A schoolboy saved from falling under a carriage outside our flat. Ah. I'm sure you were asleep for that. Mm. And then there's the matter of your eyes. My eyes? Mm -hmm. They flash with purple flame now and then. Quite a becoming way, I might add. Charles. I... Oh, why did you not tell me? Oh, and spoil your attempts at living an ordinary life with a dull playwright like me. Never dull. Mm. Not in the slightest. <laughs> oh, my darling, I, I still can't believe it. You're safe. And you must have so much to tell. More to ask, really. How did you draw me out? Me? Yes, it was your light that led me through the darkness like a sunrise on a dull horizon. Thank heavens for that light. Uh, and for those of you who wield it. You mean there were others? Yes, Beverly. It was the most extraordinary thing. Uh, I turned around to find you in that hallway, and the hallway was gone. I was gone. Spirited away to another time and place, where I saw three men approaching from the east, surrounding a creature. In the rubble. No, Charles was she. Yes. The moon witch, they called her. They overpowered her somehow and brought her out to the coast, built this very same mausoleum around her to keep her in. And the three men? I think you can guess. Knightley, Laker, and... Barrymore. Yes, the man from the portrait. Accompanied by a soldier of some sort, Blaker, and a certain priest. My distant ancestor. Oh, what was he like? Oh, the most courageous man I have ever seen. It was he who overpowered her. He made all the difference. I wish I could have been there to see him. Oh. Shall I take you along with me next time? No, thank you. <laughs> but to meet him, the man who brought light magic into the world, mm. falling in, in love with one of the witch's own sisters, and turning her into the light, saving her from the darkness. Extraordinary. Yes. And here we are, sitting in the shadow of her final resting place. Well, semi-final. <laughs> Cherry tree certainly would be a welcome sight. The whole autumn stretching before us. Surrounded by nature. Mm. In nature's own. Charles! <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, that would be a welcome sight, wouldn't it? In the cottage all to ourselves. Ah, yes. If I could fly us there. I would. Mm. But you've left your broomstick at home.
Are you always so affectionate towards strange animals? It's Elsie's cloak, old man. I gave it to her back in London. Oh. Stolen from a poor old widow, no doubt. It means that she's here, that she's safe. Well, thank heavens for that. I'm surprised you were able to see the poor thing out in this fog. What's wrong? We're not alone. Yes. Elsie's here somewhere, and uh, that means uh, that... We're not safe, I mean. Well, that's rather typical for the two of us, isn't it? I suppose so. Here. This is for you. A truncheon? I'm honored. Oh, it's for your protection, boy. Yes, this will do nicely. I can clock you over the head and make a run for it. Oh, talk for a man who embraces forces. Anyway, we'll need, both need some protection if we're to separate. Separate? You mean leave you to fend for yourself? Just to check the perimeter. We'll meet up on the other side. You can hold your hand if you like. Yeah. Yes, but don't lie and say you aren't glad that I'm here. Given what I know, of course. That would be alone, I suppose. Oh, you see, we're becoming friends already. Oh, not on your life, you gormless miscreant. Now go. He might turn out right. He runs out of state of trouble and keeps his mouth shut. But I'll not have him find my Elsie first. Her footsteps clearly led this way. Elsie? Elsie, is that you? I never issued a death warrant for Havisham. It's foolish of me to lie to you about it. I suppose I told you to see through such deceptions, didn't I? Well, not so different, Havisham and I. Both running from our past, what we might have done years ago. I turned on the very more name. I turned on the very moors first. This flaker assigned to protect them from a centuries old curse. I turned away. It wasn't as if we meant to betray them. You see, my father was frightened and took us to London when I was a boy. I swore to come back when I was older, but soon had a family of my own, and a child. Elsie, well, what have I done? I've gone and made the same mistake he did, the same judgment upon myself, upon our family. I know that voice, somehow it knows my name, somehow it knows me, and it knows of my sins, and the lives that could have been saved if I had only kept my word to save them. It wasn't up to me, it wasn't only my fault. No, I heard the news that day, the very morning. <laughs> children who waited for days. I kept my own family safe, but turned the very walls away. I don't recall how I justified my sins, but I knew someday I'd face them all again. Face with
sweet spirit, the face of my own grief, the shadow haunting me, tracing my footsteps, hiding there in the mist. Can it be you do exist, giving form to every fear I've had in secret? I turn my life around, become a man of the Lord. Protects the innocent, provides a justice in the street. Of London. There is no turning back. You have lived, you have served, but you betrayed them first. You're in blood on your wood, free to live without the curse. Fighting the peace of the fallen family. I have learned how to fight and how to survive, but is it still my life when it was their prize? Spirit, who knows my name? Search for the light Weigh heavily upon my mind And heavy in my dreams at night I'm sorry See? I see stress. I needed a change of wardrobe. Belonged to the lady of the house. Funeral attire. She never got the chance to wear it. It's, it's you. I, I'll not let you take her. <laughs> Poor little rat. Staring death in the face, and all he sees is his daughter. No. It can't be. Perhaps I'll have some use for you now. Elsie! Ah! Nathaniel, help! Come on, eyes on me, little fella. I'm a much bigger meal than she is. What are you doing? Keeping its attention on me. A wolf of his appetite deserves more than a mouthful. Be, be careful! enough of us after all. Oh, you were supposed to kill it. What's that? Uh, that is, um, oh, uh, Yes, I've never seen one attack unprovoked like that. And yet it seemed to be holding back. Holding back? Could have taken off my head if it wanted. Only you were stronger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll say that's what it was. I suppose... He added out more for my wardrobe than anything. I suppose he didn't like my cravat. Oh, you're bleeding. <laughs> yes, well, you can buy me a new shirt when we return to London. London? Yes. Well, uh, I owe you my life, sir. I'd settle for a kiss. And what's this sir I hear? Don't tell me you've turned respectful and demure since yesterday. Won't you... Look your rescuer in the eyes. I was so frightened. I... <laughs> I was frightened you wouldn't kill it. 
I might have known you lacked the spite for it. I knew it. I knew it was you. And who am I? Little sister? Natty! Help! Natty, there's someone there! Natty, wait! Clarice. Or oh, the woman you loved, who followed you all the way from London. Trailing after you like some mongrel. I locked you in that mother if I had the chance. <laughs> told Elsie soon made a promise to stay away. <laughs> Should have, could have, didn't. <laughs> Poor little brat. Staring death in the face and losing all he loves to the forces he doesn't understand. And it will be the last. I've waited 15 years to face you. I already find you tiresome. You always were a troublesome puppet, getting tangled in your own streams. Seems you have forgotten our little arrangement, or has 15 years changed your mind? The arrangement is off. You forced me to make a promise I could never keep. Did make it to bring me the last living night in exchange for your sister. I said there would be no arrangement. And anyway, the Blakers were never meant to be a part of it. You're all a part of it. <laughs> and you have done so well. Bring them to me. Even the constable. Or didn't you recognize him? The wolf. No! I could do the same to you, spoiled rodent. Unless you bring me the knightly woman in exchange for your sister. And Elsie? <laughs> she was never meant to be a part of it, and therefore belongs to me. I said there would be no arrangement. Or have you forgotten? You're still mortal. Until the prophecy is fulfilled, I could kill you right now if I wanted. <laughs> but could you kill Miss Blake? I wonder. And the prophecy will be fulfilled. What if he has anything to say about it? You are the only thing to fear in these woods. <laughs>